What's going on, my beautiful people? You don't know the boy Yaman is back here again. So anyway, today we'll come to talk about Everton because Everton come out with a statement to their to their fans, season ticket holder that they you know Everton have five game remained and they're meant to refund back that five game money. But they are I'm gonna let you know about that. Wait, just wait, because that one is that one need a little bit of attention from me. But just wait on that one. But we're gonna talk about Lacazette, Premier League, Bundesliga, and coronavirus and the scaremonger that's going on in football with this virus thing here but anyway we're going to start on Lacazette first because Alexander Lacazette has been a video has been circulating around where Alexander Lacazette has been doing balloon and he's looks relaxed and listening to a French rap in the background sitting on a sofa and doing balloon you know the balloon but the, the gas that he's taking is called um, nitro oxide gas the same gas that the the dentist used to relieve pain with patient and this gas is not illegal to have it in a possession in England and Wales but it is illegal for under 18 to have it because we believe it uh, we have about 17 to 18 death by kids using that gas in England and Wales so I don't know why Lacazette will choose to send that video to a friend and let the friends send it out to the media so I'm just thinking here you know, Lacazette is an Arsenal player. I love Lacazette. But is Alexander Lacazette short of attention? Because that's what it seems to me. Because if you send that video to, to give your mate, why would he send it out to the media? Is must Lacazette tell him to do it? Because if you have a circle around you where you're going to send something out to give to your friend and you as a, 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 a knowing person like Lacazette, why would he send it to the media? This is, this is why I don't understand. This is something I don't understand. Why would he send it to the media if Lacazette did not tell him to do it? And if Lacazette never tell him to do it, what kind of friend you have around you, Lacazette, for you to send your friend a video like that and then he's going to send it to the media? So something doesn't add up here. Is either Lacazette is looking attention or his friend doing it for money? One of the above. Right or wrong? You get me? Because I can't understand it. You know that you're signed to a club which in paying you £185,000 per week. You're eight. You're 28 years old. You know that going to put in hot water. You know that. You have been spoken to about your, your um, or you adopt yourself outside when a Bangyam, Lacazette, Ozil, Gwendoza uh, was in nightclub, Kalashin Nash and doing champagne and vodka party in a nightclub. And that was what, 2018? And Yula has been... So Yula know the terms and conditions, what you can and cannot do when you are signed professional for a football club. So for you to go out there and do something like that, I believe that you're trying to seek an attention. You're an attention seeker. That's what I believe you're doing, Lacazette. Because... As a by chance to tell you, say, common sense. Yes, use your common sense, fam. What kind of thing is that? Why you send out stuff like that? And let your friend post in up that? Huh? What kind of friend you have? Fix up yourself, like I said. I'm not going to burn you out because everybody make mistakes and we have to learn from it. But them sort of things, they come on. You need to be wiser. But anyway, like I said, old time, I don't know. Now your brother see him way. But just link me car all the time if you show me, I show me now and then. If you show me and me a day, I go and chill out. We, th this would even reach the media. But anyway, like I said, when you watch a video, give me a ring. Give your man a ring and we can go and cook some food and do something. But anyway, yes, my people. Bundesliga kick off back yesterday. And I believe some scaremonger is going on in football. Because we see the substitution. The player them sitting in the stand and they're sitting like five row, five seat away from one another. Then you have the player them on the pitch. They see free kick taking, corner taking, everybody bungling up. So for me, I don't understand this scaremonger thing that they. Why would you be a substitute and you're sitting on the bench but you have to sit five meter, two meter, one meter away from one another? But when you go on the pitch, you're, you're not. Is, is they playing? The, away from one another, nobody can tackle nobody then. Because is this not ludicrous for what they're doing? What they is is it just me alone see what this little rubbish that they're doing? Huh? 
Because when you take in a corner, a free kick or anything, or everybody bungle together. I see people congratulating. Um, I see Bayern Munich score and everybody's congratulating, doing chest pump and arm um, this and so. Where's the Where's the social distance there? But on the bench, you have the social. Do you understand? You have the social distance on the bench, but not on the pitch. Do, do, anybody get it? Because I don't get it. So if you get it, please, please explain it to me. Because I can't understand it. Now, what we don't understand. I see, after Bayern Munich don't know, Dartman Saturday finished play in the same situation. I see Dartman go out there, the old 11 players on the pitch, I believe more than 11 or whatever. Um, they they walking up to the goal and they, they clapping. They, like, you know, when you don't clap your fans when you play, play away or more than likely away, you go to your, your away fans and clap them, thank them for their support and whatever. That's what they're doing, but there's nobody in the ground. So you're taking the fucking piss. You're taking the piss. You're taking the piss out of our we fans. Because nobody in the ground, you footballers decided that you will play football without we in the ground. We is the one who pay you. We are the one who pay for season ticket. We are the one who buy subscription to for, for, for watch football and telly from the sky, from the BT, from you know, wherever it sell. Whatever coverage, whatever um media want to sell it. We buy it. So for we to buy it, give them the money, they turn around and pay the Bundesliga how much money because of the, 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 the fans who are buying their package, their TV package. So you, the players, should have some form of decency in Uno and say, listen, we are not going to start this Bundesliga because we're not going to play behind closed door because we're playing for fans. So if it have to cancel, we cancel it until fans are allowed to come back in the stadium, then we play. That's what's supposed to happen. Don't come and just taking the piss out of us. You're, you're clapping when nobody's in the stadium. Huh? Come on, man. I don't, I don't respect that. I totally don't respect that. You like clapping. I totally don't respect football going out there playing back football again where there's no spectators in the stadium because I believe, I from what I can believe, you football are playing for we. We the fans. So if we are not in the stadium, why are you like playing? Because if we don't pay our season ticket, or we don't pay to come in to play, watch a game on match day, we don't pay to watch a game on TV, where would you like get money from? Ask yourself that question. Who is paying you? It's not the club, it's we the fans. So, to a footballer to do that, I find it a big disrespectful. And we the fans are supposed to take a stand. Because when them said, it, oh, it's safe to go back in stadium, fans can come back in stadium, we're supposed to boycott on and let them see how it feel. Don't buy no more TV package to watch a football pan, pan TV. Don't come back to the stadium and buy no ticket, no buy no season ticket to watch a football. Let them feel how it feel. Because we don't respect our we the fans. We have no gratitude, no respect, nothing to we the fans. Because if Uno footballer can play, I'll agree to play a game behind closed door without we the fans is there. That means we don't care about we. We don't give a toss about we. Yeah? And a we who's the one who's paying us. But until we fans understand that we own football, we are the biggest investor in football, then football will understand. Moving on, we hear that... Um, Lucas Torreira come out and say he want to go back to Italy. And these are some of the stuff that coming out of Arsenal. We don't know what's happening in Arsenal because as far as I can see and hear, player want to leave more than what player want to come. The only player I see want to come to Arsenal is Partey. And Arsenal come out and say they don't know if they have the money to spend to buy him. So that's one of the things again. So losing Torreira going to Italy and you know when a player want to leave your club it doesn't make sense having playing for your club because it's not going to give his 100 and that's that's just my belief but that's a speculation coming out and it's not the first AC Milan been linked with him there's a lot of club that has been linked with um Torreira so that is one thing up in speculation again now we hear that Boyaka Saka they're looking to sign him up that's what the, the news come out and say well, hopefully that is the, the that is the case so we hope to see what's going on now they're saying that um football um fans is not going to be allowed back into stadium until they get a vaccine now from what i know that a vaccine take five to eight years to, to develop 
there's no vaccine that can deliver for a virus within a year or two. It's not possible. Unless they have that vaccine sitting down somewhere store already. It's not possible for a vaccine to develop and test it and proven. It has to take a minimum. Minimum. If you can go on the borderline, it's three years. Three years, the minimum. So now they're saying vaccine going to ready in England because... Um, 130 million has been spent in the university in, in Oxford and they're coming out with a vaccine and 60,000 or whatever going to be available for people in England. Let me tell you something. Me not take none. Only na vaccine me. Me not take no flu job. Me not take nothing from you. Because I'm a killer. Uno. Uno killer. Yeah? Moving on my people. This is the one that piss me off. Now, Everton come out, Everton have five home game left. And Everton is the latest club come out to state that they will give back the season ticket holder, refund them back the five game money. But, yes, but, do you know what this is Do you know what they said to their, their, their fans, the season ticket holder? You can donate some or all of that money to Everton charity. Are you taking a fucking piss? Let me tell you something. And I want this to go viral. If Arsenal FC ever send me an email and tell me, say, my money I'm supposed to get back for them game there. Plus, coming in about the top about Arsenal still in the FA Cup. Yeah, even though we have a, we, we, we game against Sheffield away, we could have picked somebody in the next round. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a peer for that already. I'm not even the FA Cup yet. But anyway, let me tell Arsenal something. I'm telling them this from the bottom of my heart and my throat and my mind. If Arsenal ever come out and tell me, say, me if you donate, my rest of the money I'm supposed to get reimbursed back to them charity, I can either ask me if I want, or them, in any way they put it, no matter how they say it to me, and me I go send it up and I need to know mama or no papa. On a auntie, on a grandmother, every mother fucking body me was sending up under. If Arsenal ever bring out that statement where Everton bring out, remember me telling you, me a sending up on it to the mama. Give me back my pussy clad, the whole of me money. Bright. Everton just so think about people for donate the, the money to them, them charity. Oh, it's so bright. Huh? So what on there? Carnivores uh, not, not affect me and my pocket as well. Huh? You show them, me not come at the game, come watch the game, come to this have a plate on it, behind closed door, but you don't want to take my money the same way. Me want to see which fans I got tell them, say, yeah, them want to give them all a pee out of my money. <sighs> calm down, yeah. Calm down. Arsenal, just refund back my money and don't, don't follow suit. Don't do that bullshit. I'm telling you that. Don't even try it. Because... Me sending up on it to the mama. Give me back my money. And that me I tell you no. But anyway, my supporter, subscriber. <laughs> Sorry for that one. But anyway, my subscriber, big up on yourself. Because I don't know the boy, yeah, man, is here. I would just come into the studio and just to throw up any little thing in it. Because, you know, the news are out there. So I would just dig up and find the news and drop it to me. So big up on yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. But more of all, we want the YouTube subscriber to go up. Boost the YouTube subscriber. Subscribe to my, my channel on YouTube, yeah? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to Taste the Flavor Kitchen. Check out that channel because some lovely food is on it. Teaching for cook and the can just go and did it for myself. Big up on the my people who don't know. Stay tuned for when the yard man drop another video again. Over and out.